Charlie Wong. Charlie Wong, make this quick. The video that was put up by GM Las Vegas, sit down, 144K. <clears throat> Entitled, Hilarious, the super rich elite still planning the escape from judgment. Now, I just got finished watching part of a video. Um, I believe the page is Canadian Prepper. Let me see if I still got it up. Bear with me for a minute. I mean, I can find it back. Try right, and get it back. Let me do it this way. Bear with me. Okay, so this is the video that I clicked on. Super Rich Elite still planning the escape from judgment. And I was just watching this one, which is Cana a Canadian prepper uploaded. Wow, this is alarming. So now let me see something. Give me a second. You bring that back. This is a damn commercial. The super rich preppers planning to save themselves from the apocalypse. Let me see something here. Bear me for a minute. Okay, so the super rich preppers planning to save themselves from the apocalypse. Now let's find this video here. All right, have seen the super rich preppers planning to save themselves from the apocalypse. So what is the apocalypse all about? This way. Apocalypse. You, you, I don't know if you heard it, the, the complete apocalypse, the complete final destruction of the world. Now, we know what it means by the world. Eon, a time of rulership for a particular kingdom as described in the biblical book of Revelation. You know, people say that the Bible is a, a fairy tale book. It's, you know, it's not a real book, but, but it's the number one selling book on the planet. And you see these images here. You hit image. This is I, their idea of the apocalypse. This is a better image right here. Now they're showing you meteorites or whatever coming from, which is similar to uh, 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 Sodom and Gomorrah. That's how the Lord destroyed the place. Fire coming down from heaven. But they're actually going to be missiles. So, you know, we've been saying this for years. People laugh and scoff. But you got the super rich, multi millionaires. 
people that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, a hundred million or more, fifty million or more, and then you have billionaires. Then you even have trillionaires. Right here it is right here. Same article. Super rich preppers planning to save themselves from the apocalypse. Now the live stream that we did about an hour, uh, two hours ago. We were going to go into James uh, chapter 5. We didn't go through it. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. Breeze through it. James chapter 5. The super rich, the elite, they watch, They trust me, they watch our videos and they know that uh, un, unlike you average people, they know that we're the prophets. Go to now, you rich man, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. So what did they say in the article? That they're going to try to escape the apocalypse. There's no way you can escape the apocalypse. Your riches are corrupted and your garments more beaten, your gold and your silver. Real money is gold and silver. It is cankered and the rust of them to be a witness against you and show well, gold, gold and silver does not rust. What they mean by rust is that they're going to find out, the people are going to find out that what real money is. People don't understand why prices are going up, everything's going up. It's a thing called inflation. When it's not checked, it becomes hyperinflation. So you holding on to actual paper dollar bills and digital currency in the bank, not realizing what real money is. Uh, eat, it says, uh, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were with fire. That's a nuclear fire. We showed you the pictures. This is what apocalypse, the apocalypse looks like. Let me bring this over here. This is what the apocalypse looks like. But it's going to be far worse than this. There's not going to be nothing left of Babylon the Great. This is the best picture. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. So we're in the la we're in Esau's last days. Behold the hire of, of the laborers, which are all of us, the middle class, the working class, who have reaped down your walls, have worked for you to make you rich, which is of you kept back by fraud. The fraud is what? That you were getting uh, monopoly money. You were getting fiat funny money. Cry it. Because people are beginning to cry, and the cries of them, which it is talking about the Israelites crying, uh, have reaped, have, and uh, the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, which means the Lord of, of troops. He lived in pleasure on earth, and then one time ye have nourished your hearts. Is it the day of slaughter? Ye have uh, condemned and killed the just Israelites. 
he demonized us and he do it not resist you. We, we, we don't have the power to fight you back. And I'm going to close it on this. Be patient, therefore, brethren, the elect unto the coming of Yahweh. Behold, the husbandmen waiting for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Like you have the, the Feast of Weeks and then at the end of the summer, you got another so-called Feast of Weeks. It's called the ingathering when we were in our land. Be also patient, establish your hearts, get your mind right for the coming of Yahweh draw up nine. So let me do this. I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this video right here. Or maybe, maybe not because they might do a, they might clip my video. I just gotta watch this. Sounds like uh, from he's from England. Yeah, I can't let you hear this because no, what you know, knowing how they roll, do what they do to me, they'll they'll cut it. Proverbs nineteen twenty NLT. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will pre will prevail. Revelation six and fifteen. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman. Every, we're all bonded. And every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, building fallout shelters, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and from the wrath of the Lamb. The ancient of days sit on the throne, and the, the wrath, the Lamb is going to bring his wrath for the one that sits on the throne. So we're not going to hide because we're going to be looking to get delivered. Amos 9. Two and three, though they dig into hell. Now that's that word hell is a pit. It means pit. The word there sha'awal, which means pit, a sha'ol. Thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, you have all these uh you have the Artemis. Artemis goes back to a Greek goddess, showing you that these people descend from the the ancient Greeks and the Romans, of which are none but Edomites. Thence will I bring them down, and though they hide themselves in the tops, the top of Carmel, meaning if you go to a mountain retreat, you have one in uh, Denver, uh, not Denver, uh, I think it's Boulder, not Boulder. It's somewhere in Colorado. Uh, it's it's a uh, Cheyenne Mountain. I believe that's Boulder, Colorado. And they can hold more than a million people in there. Well, guess what? There's there's over 300 million, almost 340 million, in in the in the uh, in the United States. So everybody can't fit in there. So only a, about a million can fit in there. I will search and take them out thence, that though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, they have these underground cities or underwater cities, thence will I command the serpent divide them and they shall bite them. Sarah 16 and 13, the sinner shall not escape with his spoils and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. 
Uh, so with that, I'm going to say shalom.